Hey everyone, uh, so these are warm up exercises and drills that you can do before a speed workout to give yourself a little more preparation before adding in that speed work. So it's just gonna get the body a little bit more warmed up. I'm gonna go through these drills. All of them, you'll be doing them about 30 to 50 meters uh, over the course of 30 to 50 meters. And I typically repeat them twice. So I'll do each exercise twice before moving on to the next one. Alrighty, well, let's get started. First exercise is running backwards. You're gonna be getting off the balls of your feet, pushing into the ground off those toes, staying up nice and tall and driving my foot back. Alrighty, let's see the demonstration here. And that's good. Once you do get uh, uh, once you do get to the other side, you're gonna jog it on back. So the next one, after you repeat that two times, uh, you're gonna go into our shuffle step. So I'm basically touching my heels together uh, when I'm lifting up my arms. So I'll step out, lift up those arms, arms come to the sides and touch. Let's see it. I'm gonna do eight. On one side, staying nice and loose in the shoulders, getting off the balls of my feet, and then eight on the other side. And once that's done, you know the drill, jog it on back. Okay, third one, karaoke. A little bit more complicated, you're gonna keep your hands up, shoulders rolled down and back, just in a nice neutral position here, just to hold that balance. I'm gonna bring one leg, isolating one leg, behind, step out, and then lift it up and over the top. That's one, all right? Let's see that full motion here. So behind, over, behind, over. Hands up positioning in the front. Same thing, getting off the balls of my feet and then driving that knee across. Once I do eight, turn it around and do eight on the other side and then jog it on back to that start line. So the next one is a combination of two movements. Uh, we actually have a A skip and then high knees. These are both followed by butt kicks as well, but I'll dem demonstrate that just after. All right, so let's start with that A skip. Shoulders down and back, nice and tall, driving that knee up, landing flat footed here. That's one, two, three, four, holding that nice posture. I do this for about 15 meters. Once I get in about 15 meters of that nice knee drives, then I transition getting off the balls of my feet into high knees. Nice and quick with those arms. Perfect. Let's jog it on back. So we gotta warm up the hamstrings a little bit more. I'm gonna do a butt kick. Uh, two movements again here. This is followed after the high knees. So I typically do this right after. And I'm doing you know the A skips to high knees to the uh, 90 degree butt kicks into a full uh, butt kick or close to a B skip. Uh, so the first one, I'm gonna actually bring up my heel 90 degrees, make it parallel with the ground, shoot it back down as fast as you can here. Be trying to get that foot back down to that flat position. And then the second movement, I'm gonna bring it a little closer to my butt, but lift my knee up at the same time here and then bring it back down, all right? Let's see it. Nice and quick, shoot that foot back down to the ground. Once I go about 15, 20 meters. Whew. And jog it on back. Now we're ready to go with some uh, other dynamic drills uh, that are gonna get you just that extra bit warmed up and practice on a little technique. So the first one, it's called hot feet. This is the one we're only going for about 10 meters here. We're getting off the balls of our feet again, lifting our toe up, and then smacking it back down into the ground. So it's nice and close. Yeah, let's get that close up on these feet. And after 10 meters, I'm gonna turn, not even turn around and go back. I'm actually gonna keep it going, but reverse that direction. So nice, as quick as you can here, 10 meters. Whoo! Back at that start line. Once that's done, I'm gonna go into my next one, which is a straight-legged bounding. Very simple, getting off those balls of those feet. I'm bringing a leg forward and bringing it back down. 
you will accelerate through this uh, movement. Let's see it here. Remember on that one to stay up nice and tall, but watch, you don't want to be leaning far back here and you're really going to be stretching out those hamstrings a little bit more. Remember as well, you're doing these two times, okay? So don't forget it. After you've jogged back, we're going to go into the next uh, movement, which uh, really good just opening up the groin, opening up the hip a little bit more. It's a uh, high knee into what I call a doggy, so opening that leg out as if you're like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant or something like that. So it's one touch and then out. Here we go. I'm isolating only one leg here. Getting off the balls of my feet. That's good. So remember to do the other leg on that one. I only isolate the one leg. After that, we go into a B skip. B skips are so important. I love A skips and B skips. You've already done those A skips. Getting up nice and tall of that chest, driving that knee up. B skip, three part movement, bringing that heel close to that butt, driving the knee up, and then actually reaching out and bringing it down into the ground and pulling that ground towards you. Right. So if I bring this leg down quick, it should propel me forward here. You can isolate one leg or do both at the same time. I'll show uh, both here. Let's get on with this demonstration. So that's one. Now let's see both. Woo. Keep in mind that when this foot drives into the ground, you're pulling it towards you. So there's a lot of pressure making this foot come back. So I'm driving it back because I want to propel myself forward. So this knee come, foot comes down. That's that propel, get that motion going forward. Ooh. Second last one, uh, I call it penguin. Uh, it's all about keeping that posture, shoulders down back. So you're staying up nice and tall and you actually want to be catching yourself. You're going to lean forward here and Catch yourself with your feet, but you want to make sure your posture stays perfectly in line. You don't want to be hinging over and then catching yourself. So stay up nice, right? You don't need to go too fast here. I'm going to lean over forward, balls my feet. Look awkward. It does feel awkward as well when you're going to be doing it at the first, but just try to keep up nice and straight, up tall uh, with the chest. And all it is is a simple catching with your feet as you fall forward. Uh, this is really good if you're running against the wind. Uh, I lean into, you're going uphill, you're going to be leaning into that hill because you want your momentum taking you in that direction. Right? Okay. So last one. Finally, bounding. Now, if you have shin splints or anything like that, be aware that uh, this can um, not, not be the best exercise for shin splints. Uh, because of the impact that you're going to get when you land on the ground. I'm basically doing an exaggerated stride. I'm driving my knee up and I want to spend as little amount of time as possible on the ground. So when I touch the ground, I'm going to drive that other knee back up as well. Alrighty, let's get it. Now, remember in that one, I'm not landing on my toes there. I'm not coming down harshly on the toes. I'm actually landing almost flat footed and then pressing into that ground and getting off my toes to jump back up. That's where the pressure is. If you land when you're running on your toes like this, unless you're really sprinting, that takes out so much energy. Really, you're coming down on that foot, driving yourself forward. Alrighty, that's it. Woo! Lastly, after those exercises, you're going to do some leg swings uh, just to really open everything up. So typically I would be hanging on a pole or some sort of bench or anything here. You can also use uh, your running partner uh, on shoulders. And I'm going to do 10 swinging side to side on each leg, really opening up that hip, the IT band, the groin a little bit more. And then I'm going to do uh, 10 forward and back, so reaching, stretching out that hamstring, that quad a little bit more. So that, once you get in 10 on each side, 
you're good to go. Maybe run a one to three accelerations if you really want to. That helps. Uh, other than that, whew, you're good. Get those leg swings done. And now that all those exercises are done, you can get on with this stellar workout that you are going to accomplish right here, right now. Alrighty, so go out there, have fun, uh, kill that workout that you got going on. I hope you had a good warm up and uh, get after it, team.